Hello everyone and welcome to this really brief video on how to use Zoom, whether you're the host or for your students or other colleagues who are actually signing into your hosted meetings. So feel free to share this little video with whoever you want to. You can sign up for free accounts by going to zoom.us and um, at, at this moment in time with coronavirus they're actually lifting some restrictions on the free accounts so it may be worth checking these out because with a free account you can hold one-to-one -one meetings and uh, the, the meeting can last as long as you want without a paid for account then technically the uh, uh, the meetings will only last for 40 minutes if you've got more than two people on at the same time so if you want to do classroom teaching uh, using this of course that wouldn't be possible in the the usual free account okay so go into zoom.us to get your account once you're in you click the button the yellow one here or the orange one to start a meeting so i've gone into my meeting now and i'll clear this to, just to show you what's happening so you can go to full screen and when other people are in their little video cameras appear around the screen as well and you can have multiple people joining into this as i'm recording it it's showing that it's been recorded and everyone who's uh, who would be signed in would see that it's being recorded okay now as soon as you wiggle your mouse and you need to do this each time that you want to get your toolbar down the bottom these are the the, the key things that you need to do it's showing there's only one person in this and that's me so if i want to invite others i click that button and then the easiest way to do is just click this here copy the url or copy invitation but you have to delete below to the gobbledygook in that so the url is your own specific username normally and that ends up with a number at the end and here's that number so if i just copied that and i could send that out in an email to everyone and it gives them the number and that's how they sign in they just click the link and maybe they have to put the number in look that bottom toolbar is gone again so wiggle the mouse and it comes back now a really good thing for you to be able to do is click on this button that says share screen and that shows you every screen that you've got open at the moment so if you're doing a teaching session using PowerPoint or Prezi or something on the internet or whatever it is click on that and as soon as you say to share that's now the screen that you're using so you can go into this and use it just as you would in a classroom and you can see that that's made the little video of me quite small now on there so anybody else in the room all their little videos will be small as well to get out of this you click the red button it's hidden on my screen but it just says stop share sometimes this is at the top of the bottom of your screen if I click that it stops sharing the other important things and especially when people are signing into your zoom site uh, for the first time loads of people struggle knowing how to get their microphones or or camera working or the sound if people are struggling and you need to send them a message just click this one here which is chat and you can either send it to everyone or you can choose the particular individuals in your group and then you can send them a message so if you can see that somebody is on but maybe there's a red line through their microphone or their camera that means they haven't turned it on so they may not be hearing you so just send a message saying unclick this but some, sometimes people struggle because they don't know where they're going to find it so what you tell them is wiggle your mouse once they wiggle the mouse it brings this bottom toolbar up okay so if their microphone is muted there'll be a red line through this microphone the same for the webcam when they click on the up arrow, so they can just click the red line to delete that and now their, their, their mouse or microphone will be unmuted. But any more problems, click on this and it may mean that they need to choose a different camera. So supposing they've got a couple of cameras going, maybe they've got a plug-in one and a default one within their computer or their iPad, whatever. So they might have to choose whichever one they're using at the moment. If they're still getting problems, they can click this button that says test speaker and microphone. Hear that? And now when I talk, it should play back to me. Yeah, great. So I know all that's working. Another issue, if they click on that and if they go to audio settings, so they can play around here with video 
or audio, but it may mean they just have to raise the level a bit. So if they say that they're not hearing you, or especially if you can't hear them, get them to raise the level of their microphone, and that's going to help. Okay? And basically, that's it. It's so easy and so fun to use. Uh, I'm willing for you to contact me if you have any more questions about this, or go on to the zoom.us website, and they've got loads of tutorial videos, which are really fantastic. Okay, hope this helps, and I don't want to be treading on anyone's toes, so please use Skype for Business or Microsoft Teams, whatever it is. This is just a backup for those of you that would prefer to use this. Okay? I'm not breaking any policies. Oh, and that, yeah, that's how you end the meeting. Okay? Click the bottom right hand corner that says end meeting, then end meeting for all. So uh, before I do that, I'll just stop my recording and then I'll end the meeting. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.